Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and another Instagram stories, tips, tricks and hacks video. If you're new to my channel, I have created so many of these videos. I'll have them linked in the cards or at the end of the video so you can check them out. But yeah guys, I wanted to show you another tin. As always, stay right until the end of the video because that is where I will show you my favorite tip, trick, hack thingamajig. And this is a good one, guys. So seriously, stay until the end of the video. Without any further ado, if you're not yet subscribed, please feel more than welcome to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends if you enjoyed. But let's get into the video. First up we have quick replies and this is awesome. So if you're in Messenger and someone sends you a message, you can actually use a quick reply to respond to them. So over there you can see the icon. If you click on that icon, here are all of my quick responses that I've already set up. So if I click on one, it automatically populates the text section and I can send it. If you want to create your own, you just click that plus sign, you type the quick response that you want to type out over there as you can see. And then you can also create a shortcut. So for instance, there under the shortcut section, you can just put in the number six. So in future, if you just literally type six, you'll see this icon lights up. You click the icon and it auto populates what you already had in the quick reply. And then you can just send it off. So this is really nice and it can be used for a whole host of different things, for brands, for sending people quick prices, you name it, it's really awesome. Did you know you can actually request to be verified? Yes, guys, the all mysterious blue tick. If you go into your settings section over there and you hit settings at the bottom, all you need to do is scroll down a bit until you see request verification right there. Then you simply fill in your details. They ask for your full name. They ask what you're known as and then also what category you fall under. So I just popped in blogger slash influencer and then you just need to upload a form of identification. So literally an ID document and you send. So once you submit your documents, Instagram will then see if you are eligible for the blue tick and whether or not they want to give it to you. So unfortunately it's not a given. Instagram decides at the end of the day. Ooh, next up, how to make posts clickable in stories. This is something I get asked often. So say for instance, you just have a brand new post that went up. All you need to do is scroll down, click on that aeroplane icon, and then you'll see at the top there, it says add post to your story. You click on that, and then you'll see it automatically goes into your stories. And then if you tap on the screen, it'll change the look. And if you tap again, it'll change back. From there, you can then further customize things, change the background color, add text, make it smaller. But then once you post it to your stories and your audience comes along and sees this, if they click on the image, it'll actually take them directly to the post. So you can do this with your own posts or you can do it with other accounts that you follow. This next feature that Instagram added recently is so epic guys, and it's name tags. Basically an easy way for people to follow you and you follow them. If you go into the settings section, as you saw there, and you click on name tag, Instagram has made a specific name tag for your account. So if your friend wants to follow you, you open up name tag, they open up name tag, and they simply scan your tag. What's also cool is you can choose to customize your tag. So there's a selfie option. If you tap on the screen, it'll change the filters as you can see here. But if you tap at the top under selfie, it'll change to this option. Once again, if you tap the screen, you'll get different color options. But I personally like the emoji one the most. And again, if you want to change the emoji, you just tap on the screen and you can choose whatever emoji your heart desires. If you want to then share your name tag as well, you can just click on the share button in the top right hand corner. You can share it via email, you can share it via WhatsApp, pretty much any social media platform. And as you saw in the beginning during my intro, I put up my tag so you guys can scan it straight from your screen and follow my Instagram if you want. So yeah, next time you're with your friends or someone new, I don't know, you just whip out your phone with your name tag on it. They whip out their phone. They just scan the name tag and they will instantly be following you. And then you can do it back to them, vice versa. Everybody love everybody. <laughs> okay, so we all know that gifts are available on Instagram stories, but 
If you get the Giphy app, you can just download this separately in the App Store or the Play Store. It's a really fun way to just add a little extra spice to your Instagram stories. So if you go into the Giphy app, you can click under the search section and type in something like eye roll. There's a whole bunch of GIFs to choose from. And if you click on those three dots over there, you will see the Instagram icon pop up. If you click on that, you will either get the feed option or the stories option. So you click on stories and it'll copy this GIF to your stories. You can then just choose to make it smaller and customize it further. So for example, I typed in a thanks Monday with an eye roll. And again, it's just a fun way to spice up your stories. And I think it's pretty cool. So here's another example. Customizing questions. Another question I've been asked so many times, and that is when you post a question, how do you change the color of it? And it's super simple, guys. Some of you may know this, but if not, you simply hit on that top icon, you select questions, type in your question, but then as you see at the bottom there, guys, there are all the different colors to choose from. You literally just select whatever color you want, and it'll change the question sticker to that color. So, so simple. And I just wanted to show you guys, because like I said, I do get asked that question quite a lot. And here it is again, just so you guys can see. Next up, close friends. Um, again, this is really quite a cool feature. So for example, if you want to post something personal, like I'm going skydiving with my friends next year, I just popped up the skydiving post. I said, I can't wait to go skydiving, but I don't want to post this to everyone. I just want to post it to my close friends. All I do is I click on that icon that says close friends. So again, you can add family members in here. If it's for brands, you can add specific employees under here. Really, the options are endless and it only goes, or the story is only shown to the people that are within that group. They also get sent a notification telling them that they've been put in this specific group. Okay, story split. Did you know that you no longer have to split up your stories yourself? Instagram automatically does it. So here I'm just showing you an example of a video I pre-recorded it is longer than 15 seconds, but as you can see at the bottom there, Instagram has already spliced it for me. So it goes in two sections, obviously 15 second bits, and you no longer need to use a second party app. It also happens when you're recording live, you may have already seen it, but again, just something I want to show you guys, yay. <laughs> Now, I bet you didn't know that you can do video calls within Instagram Messenger. That is right. All you do is you go to the DM section, you click on whichever individual you'd like to video call, and then as you see there in the top right hand corner is a video icon. If you click on it, it'll start video calling them within Instagram. So this is not really specific to Instagram stories, but again, just something I wanted to share with you guys, and it's really nifty. They must be on Instagram while you're calling them, if I'm not mistaken but here's what it looks like when someone tries to call you and something I wanted to share with you guys. Yes, so you made it to number 10. I'm gonna show you my favorite tip trick. You may already know this, but I'm gonna show it to you hand in hand with another application that's just gonna up your game to a whole nother level. So let me show you guys. <laughs> Okay, I love this feature. It's super nifty and it's basically pre-organizing your stories before you post them. So if you click on the picture icon at the top there and you want to pre-organize them, you click on that like paper looking icon in the top right hand corner. And then I'm not sure if you can see from your screen, but there are little dots in the top right hand section. And if you click on each picture, it'll actually number them. And this is choosing the order in which you would like to post these pictures. So once you've selected all the pictures you'd like to post in the batch, you click next, and then you can go through each of them and customize them, change the colors, do whatever you want until you are completely happy. And then all you do is you click next, you obviously choose it to get posted onto your stories, and then it'll post all the stories in one big batch. If for example, by accident you added a picture, you're not happy with it anymore and you wanna remove it, you simply tap on the picture, you click the delete icon, and it'll remove that picture from your batch upload, if you know what I'm saying. 
Then the second app that I wanted to talk about that goes kind of hand in hand with this is an app called Canva. It's basically an app where you can design anything for stories. They've even got preset templates. You can change the background colors, you can add images, you can add all different types of text. And here's just a very quick example of me customizing my own stories. It's very basic guys, but you can make your stories look absolutely amazing. Like I said, they have pre-designed templates, so you don't have to be an amazing designer to get some good designs. They've already got amazing stuff for you that you just need to substitute your own text with or your own images. It's brilliant. And again, what's nice is you can create a batch bunch of stories. You can save the whole batch of stories and then upload them in the way I just showed you. So definitely check out Canva guys. I'll have the name on the screen here. You will not be sorry. And it is such an incredible app. And that is it guys. Don't forget to check out these other Instagram story related videos that I created. I'm pretty sure you will learn some other nifty tricks. And yeah, let me know in the comment section which was your favorite one. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time guys, bye. Toodles. <laughs>